Hey, good morning. Muave. What a night. Um, less is more electrical power. Now that way the return flow increases and how that relates to the creative quotient or electrical creative power. And so since I was four years of age, I've been eliminating programs that don't serve us. Right. A dead light magnet is not a server. And, and so um, as I've been eliminating a lot as it relates to speed, because I've always known since I was four years of age, the very idea, idea that I'm going to plant a seed to grow an electrical plant and then consume it in the future because I need its electrical power. That's counterintuitive because I am the electrical power of the universe, the unicy, the first electron, because I don't hold electrons captive to power a dead light system, an artificial light system, but it's finite. Okay, why would I want to keep something that's finite around if you already know that it's finite? Now we're back to a codependent relationship with the abuser. And so as when I was growing up as a child, one of the programs that I was running, because I happened to like the taste of the bean, was coffee, right? But I'm very mindful that that has been one, one of the more difficult challenges over time space, uh, even though I've gone long stretches without drinking any coffee. But we know what coffee does because it's acid, which is the waste product of metabolism. Okay, so, so therefore, what happens is, is that when I'm drinking coffee, why do they market it on such a large scale, like a log scale, as that relates to acid batteries, negentropic programming? Do you ever experience any nervous tension drinking coffee? That's the point of it. It's called an anxiety-driven program. And if it's an anxiety-driven program, because that's what the holographic seed is of that being, because now we experience the seed, which are the codes, running an anxiety-driven program. Now we're not experiencing being totally relaxed and totally loved. It's the still point of an eternal stun. So you see what coffee does to the central nervous system. Now, if you really start compounding that, so we know what compounding is, right? Increasing the compression of the nervous central nervous system as that relates to acid and alkaline. Or if you will, experiencing being the entire spectrum of consciousness. The eternal sun. The one I serve. The one I serve. The one I. The first I. The first sound recorder. The first love song. The love song that lives in our heart. So I, I've acknowledged that I that I'm I'm cutting that out. I, I've got to, I'm I'm I've been eliminating programs as to where I'm not needing to consume the energy of another at all ever again. So that the return flow. The inflow and the return flow are one. Now I don't need any electrical power from another sentient electrical plant ever again. Because that's what an eternal sun is. The eternal source of all electrical power. So we know how to increase density. Right? Holding electrons captive. So yeah, uh, letting go of electrical programs that don't serve us. And the speed at which we're doing that to experience being one with the first sun, the first electron, the first electron donor, right? Donations, they want donations, right? And how that relates to the Red Cross, they want blood donations, the bioplasma donations. I know. So anyway, y'all have a beautiful day. 
um, being totally relaxed, totally calm, be still, be still, be still point, the eternal point, the point of it all, the point of all creation, the eternal breath of Kemaloati. Ah, uh, yeah.